Hello creative humans! This week is Cartoon Yourself Week. If you're like me, I don't generally work with animated characters or cartoon characters, but stay with me, this is a pretty fun challenge. I suggest, if you're really struggling for inspiration, maybe create a bitmoji or you can Powerpuff Girl yourself online to create a reference image. I did that originally because I was really stuck with where to go, but then I thought of our favorite family cartoon, which is Adventure Time, and I created several portraits. I'm going to show you one. We started with Finn the Human, and this is a cartoon version of our kiddo Liam. You'll notice a couple uh, variances in Finn's character. So I drew out an original reference image of Finn, and I added a few things that would make this character look more like our kiddo. So our son is obsessed with Minecraft, hence the Minecraft grass block. Is that what I'm going with, Liam? Grass block, they're really underwear. They're creeper. They're creeper boxer shorts. I made them a little longer so they're school appropriate. Please don't draw yourself in underwear. I don't want to see that. Also, here's his diamond backpack. So I added that and it would not be complete without his Nintendo Switch Lite in his hand. So here is our version of Finn in Liam form. He's also missing his two front teeth, so I added a huge gap at the front. He's in socks, and our fair tradition at the Alaska State Fair is to always buy him an Alaska Wild Child t-shirt. So this is our kiddo. I used some microns for lining, and then I used alcohol-based uh, markers, and I used a toned uh, paper background. You don't have to use those things. I'm going to show you some options here in a moment. For myself, I haven't colored it yet. I created myself as Fiona, and my favorite cat, Abby Dabby Doo, is in the corner. Again, things I chose. I chose Fiona because she's pretty tall and slender. I like to think of myself as slender. She also has really small feet. I do not. This is my one time to give myself small feet. I enjoyed that. Put a, a paintbrush in my hand, some extra tufts on my feet, and I always wear dresses, and my iconic uh, teal glasses. So I recommend you choose things that you typically wear. Here's a colored version. This was with uh, water-based markers, just Crayola markers, and I chose watercolor paper. You don't have to choose watercolor paper. You can use any paper you have lying around. So with this, um, I chose, again, cartoon character I liked, tried to choose something with my body type. I've been told I look like Miss Frizzle. I'm okay with that. As well as the mom from the Lorax. Thank you, student in my art survey class. I appreciate that. So maybe choose a character you already look like, or that you really admire, or just something from your favorite TV show. If you are an anime or manga artist, or you create your own original characters, do something like that. It's kind of fun to create a self-portrait, which is something people usually dread, uh, in a style of your own choosing. Here's another character. This was from the book. What is it called, Liam? Put the awe into draw. Draw adorable things. Draw cute things. So the artist in the book has kind of a little template, like a little, call it, I felt like I was playing dress up. And so I also did microns, water-based markers. If you've seen our watercolor videos from last week, uh, this was my example to draw. And then I just took a wet brush and muddled things around so it looked like watercolor. So again, I'm always wearing dresses, typically wear a headband, my teal glasses. If you have something you always wear, now we're, I know we're in like quarantine mode, so maybe don't draw yourself in pajamas that people don't ever see you in. Draw your fa with your favorite hoodie, your favorite hat, your favorite shoes, uh, maybe a favorite accessory. I chose a paintbrush. Maybe you're a gamer. Maybe you always eat hot Cheetos. Have some fun with it. Like I said, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need to go out and buy art supplies. I am just a hoarder of art supplies, and I try to buy everything I can to test things out. So these pieces were created with Crayola Super Tips washable markers. You can still get some blending going on. I used multiple colors. It is a bit splotchy with water-based markers, but if you want to correct that, you can 
Simply add a clean brush with water and spread things around for a watercolor effect, or you can color over the top with colored pencils. So those are both appropriate choice. I chose a toned background. I just really like the appearance of the fibers in the background. For this one I did alcohol markers. This is a really inexpensive brand. It's called Spree. And I chose it because I'm not super confident or comfortable with um, alcohol-based markers. So I thought I would start cheap. These were like 30 ish dollars for 84 which is awesome. So they come with, they don't even come with a, a brush tip. A little fine point tip and a little chisel tip. So I used that uh, to create Liam as Finn the Human. You'll notice there's a few variations in blending. If you really want to splurge, I think I have like seven Copics. I bought these back in college, so we'll go with two years ago. No, I'm just kidding. Like a decade ago, and they still work well, uh, but they're between six and eight bucks per marker. Really nice, but if you're just starting out, maybe don't splurge unless you have the money to. And then microns are my favorite for inking. I have purchased dozens of these over the years. Uh, if you line things first and then put marker over the top, um, these are permanent ink so they won't bleed or mix in with your markers, whether it's water-based or alcohol markers. So the last option, I'm sure you can find something else, but the last option I'm going to reference is colored pencils. In my classroom, we primarily stick with Crayolas just because of cost. My favorite colored pencils are Prismacolors. With Prismacolors, or really any colored pencil, the biggest thing, because we're focusing on cartooning this week, is you want really bold colors. So you're going to have to use a lot of that pencil. You're going to, your wrist, your arm might get a nice little workout because you're pressing hard and you're burnishing. So you can see I've blended multiple colors over the top to get nice bold colors. I'm sticking with that toned background. I really like that effect. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to go about blending some colors. So if I, I guess I should start on a paper that isn't so colored. I even used some gel pen. Have fun with this, whatever colored medium you have at home. So if I'm going to blend two colors together, maybe lavender and light blue, I'm just going to start dark in one area and gradually fade, so I'm pressing lighter. So where it's really bold is where I've burnished and I've layered either one or multiple colors together to create that it almost looks like mar marker effect. Since we're doing cartooning, most animated characters have um, really strong, bold colors. So I challenge you to experiment with any of these techniques. If you're not familiar with them, or if you want a true cartoon yourself challenge. I could go in with other colors. Prisma colors are my favorite because they're so creamy. It's really easy to... Sorry, once I start drawing, I can't talk and draw at the same time. But it's really easy to blend and layer colors. Crayolas will do the same. They're, they just have a softer um, center. And so it takes a little bit more work. There you go. So there's some burnishing. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Please share if you cartoon yourself. Like I said, it's a fun challenge if you don't want to really draw a self-portrait. It's kind of fun to see yourself in different style. There's some artists out there that have challenged themselves to draw in a hundred cartoon character styles. So if you have fun with one, maybe try another character. Can't wait to see what you create.